All right, all right. So, uh, back again one more time here. What file? Glove knife purchase that I purchased today. Okay, this is the one I purchased here. Still in the package, along with this one here. One of the Ozark Trail knives, the discounted Walmart knives for three three dollars and change, four dollars, just a little over four dollars with taxes. So, uh, yeah. Purchased these two, and then I added the new Gonzo lock back to my to my collection here. You know, so yeah, there's something about these knives I'm gonna show in a little bit. But right now, I wanna get to this knife here. This C's. This is a ten. This is a nine dollar nine dollar and seventy eight cent knife. Just a little over ten dollars with taxes, and it is a really dream of a knife. Seen it on the, on the guy's channel. His name is Preston. He goes by the name of Tactical Black Guy. And uh, he said this knife was super easy to deploy. And he was not joking. I'm an amateur at flipping a knife. But this will make even an amateur look like a pro. It really will. This is just, uh, Camillus just did this one right. As far as the scales, he said he could upgrade it. I agree with him. But hey. It's the way they use the way they do it to keep the price down, and they did a fine job. It's got a clip on there, with a nice little knife and, and cut out in there. Since that's what they're known for, they still stand for quality, even though they made over China, and they don't charge you arm and a leg for their products. And this is proof of it right here. You know, All right? So had to double up on that. I liked it so much, and it was so reasonable. And this here. This little uh, $4 knife is a real good knife. It's a um, nice little point on it. It's a frame lock. I love that. Good frame lock up on it. I mean, you can trust it. You can put a little more assurance in it when you're using it to me. It's got this uh, this flipping mechanism on there. And it's made out of, I don't know what kind of quality metal. It says aluminum. But maybe they mean some type of aluminum type scales. Because I don't think this is the aluminum in the frame. But it says aluminum handles. So, um, yeah. This is a nice little inexpensive knife. Pillar construction from Walmart also. Just purchased these today. These two right here. So, yeah. Glad to have them in my collection there. The C's. In this little Walmart Ozark Trail knife, you know. So yeah, now when it comes to these uh, Ganzo knives, you know, these are the boxes they come in. They come with these little lining packs. I mean, these little sleeves that you can keep the knife stored in, and they both have one. And uh, I noticed that one one box is a little darker than the other one. This is the first box. And this is the second box. This is the first knife. This is the second knife. This is the original picture. This one looks just like the original picture of the knife. No cutout in the blade. Straight along the spine. With jimping. Well this one has a little cutout in the blade. Kind of angles down a little bit. The jimping is a little different. And it's a little more aggressive clip on the tip. But I like them both. They are a little different in this in in this any handle with the grooves. The grooves in this one are a little bit smaller than the grooves in this one. He's a little deeper and just a little bit wider. You probably wouldn't be able to see it on the uh, on the video. But other than that, they're the same knife. And the thumb and the uh the clips are reversible. You can slip them down in here and put the pen through there on either side for left side or right side pocket clip. But uh, it's only tipped down. But yeah, these are, to me, a very good little knives. And I kind of like having them both. But I noticed this one here, Sog makes a version of it. So it could be that they're making them at the same factory. And some of them get stamped with this, with this little cutout in there. With uh, Gonzo and some of them get stamped Sog. But this is definitely the Gonzo. The one that I saw on the picture. And Sog doesn't make a version 
with this type with this exact blade. So this one, I think they may be sharing it on, and they're using the same name for it as the for the same knife. Sog isn't, but that the knife Bagonzo is. They call them both the G713. Okay. So yeah. Purchased them both from, from Amazon. And when I purchased this the, the sec, this this is the first one. And when I purchased this one, I said I may get get one without out the um cutout because that's what's in the picture. I wasn't sure, but when it came, I said, Wow. But I'm not disappointed to have them both. I like them both. And I may even get the song version. Who knows? Peace. Just wanted to share that and show how this this seeds flicks and if you're beginner and you're flicking a knife, it's got real good lockup. This is the one you want. It make you feel like a real champion at it. Yeah. All right. Peace. Take care. And enjoy your knives. And see you in the new year.